If you've ever tried to create a website in Canva before, you probably noticed there's not a lot you can do in terms of your interactivity. You can create links and you can add images and text and video, but there's not a lot else you can do. Well, you can now add forms. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a contact form to your Canva website. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how you can do this. So what you're going to do is you want to set up a website. So in Canva, you can set up a website by simply going to create a design and then choose website and this will give you a blank page website and then you can choose a template if you want something to get you started or you can just simply design from scratch or of course you could also purchase a template as something to get you started right, so let's say we've created this website here and now we want to add a contact form so of course you can use whatever website you want to create and you could use a template anything all I've done here is just put a logo at the top have a an image background and some text on it. Then got this section where I've just added a contact us text and an image. So it's really quite simple. And this could be an easy way to create a page that's for contacting. So now what you want to do is go to apps and you want to type in JotForm. So you're going to do it to JotForm and you're going to choose open. Now you want to type in here contact. So we could use a simple one like this, add it to our design. Now you actually need to connect your JotForm account. So you want to click here, start for free, connect. Now you'll go to your forms and go to JotForm so that you can edit this form. So you're going to click on that form you created and edit form. Now if you want to, you've got the option here to add a logo. Then we can click on the design here, form designer. And this is where you can start editing it to make it your own. Now, every form is different, so there's going to be different options depending on the form you choose. But you're going to go through here and select what you want. So you can change the page color or even have an image, choose the form color. You could choose a color scheme. So there's lots of different things we can edit here. The sizing of it, a theme, layout. So this is where you can really make it your own and what you are after. And as you can see too, when you click on the different parts of the form, you can always delete things or go to the properties of that particular section to edit it to how you want it to look. Now, as you can see, you will have the JotForm branding down the bottom if you have a free account. If you are serious about this and really want to be able to use these but don't want that branding, you will need to upgrade your account. So if we go and do that, if we have a look, there are all those options there depending on what you want to do with it. So do look into that if that is something you are keen to do. But if you are happy to just keep things simple, you're just getting started and you want a way to easily add a free form, this is the way you can do it and you will just have that branding. So just be aware of that. Now you can go into settings and you've got the ability here to add emails. So if somebody um, submit something and you want an autoresponder, you can set that up. And you can also set up a thank you page as well if you would like to. And you've got the option here for integration. So this is great if you wanted to actually set up a form for collecting emails, you could actually connect to something like MailChimp and things like that. So you've got all those options as well. So once you've finished, you want to go to publish and copy the link. Now we're going to go back into Canva and up here where it says link, we want to add that link so it makes sure that we've updated it to the published version we've created. So it's now going to update it and you can resize it if things changed a bit. So now when we go to preview, you can see here that we now have a working contacts page. Now, if you're wondering what happens when somebody fills in your form, you will need to go into your JotForm account here and you'll see at the top here, we've got a section where it has a drop down with conversations. If you click on forms, that's where it will appear when someone actually fills in a form. So that's where you need to go to check if people are filling in your form. So I hope that was helpful because it's just a very basic way to create a form, a quick free way to do it on Canva. It is a way to get started if it's something that you really want to add and you're trying to keep things free and simple just to get yourself started. So I hope you found this helpful, but if you're someone that struggles with designing websites, not sure where to start in terms of the design and the look of it, you'll find the link to my Canva templates in the description below. Otherwise, take a look at some of the templates on Canva as a starting point to get you started if the whole idea of actually designing a website in Canva feels a little bit overwhelming. But I hope you find this tutorial helpful if you wanted to add a contact page and wanted to add that little bit extra to a Canva website. Maybe you're not quite ready to invest in a full-on website yet and creating something on Canva Canva is going to just help you get going and get your business out there. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Canva, graphic design and creativity, be sure to subscribe to this channel and happy creating.